No objection. It is so ordered. Third reading of Senate measures, the clerk will read the bill. Senate Bill 1046 from the Scottish Authority for Licensed Psychologists, Connor Mercy. Chair recognizes Senator Monis Anderson. Thank you, Mr. President. I bring before you Senate Bill 1046, which will start the process to allow psychologists to prescribe for mental disorders. Colleagues, the mental health system in this country is in crisis. On average, there are less than four psychiatrists per 100,000 residents in rural parts of our country. This means that the majority of our mental health patients are being treated by non-psychiatric physicians. Mental health is a huge problem for many individuals and for many families. We need to do everything we can to change how we care for our mentally ill, those with depression, those with anxiety disorder, and those with post-traumatic stress syndrome. Senate Bill 1046 is badly needed now. We cannot wait any longer, and we can't keep having scope of practice fights over this issue. Oregonians with mental disorders are losing out and their quality of life is suffering. We do not have enough psychiatrists, which has left it to the primary care doctors and primary care providers to diagnose and prescribe for patients suffering from mental illness. We need more people to be able to prescribe treatment and it has been proven that licensed clinical psychologists are able to do this with proper education and clinical training. There is a big difference between just a psychologist and a licensed clinical psychologist. We are always talking about integrating mental health and physical health. We did that a lot with House Bill 2009. This bill starts us down the road to do this. We need people who are well trained, whose focus is in mental health to help meet the needs of the mentally ill. Rural areas lack access to adequate medical care generally, but especially to mental health care. This bill, Senate Bill 1046, has been very well vetted, and it has been a very long process. And it always comes down to psychologists versus physicians and psychiatrists. The idea and training for prescribing psychologists actually originated in the U.S. Department of Defense almost 20 years ago because there were not enough psychiatrists to take care of our military men and women with mental disorders. The U.S. military continues today to use prescribing psychologists who are trained at accredited academic institutions throughout the country. We have licensed clinical psychologists right now prescribing and dealing with our military men and women in Iraq and in Afghanistan. We formed a work group during the 2007 session to discuss this concept and it went through the scope of practice process established by a task force in 2008. Most recently, a work group cr created by the 2009 legislature re re reviewed the bill's key provisions aided by a professional facilitator and presented its recommendations to this special session. They were tasked to make recommendations on education, training and oversight, and they did that. Senate Bill 1046 reflects a, cons a consensus by this legislative mandated work group and it consisted of three physicians, two from OHSU, a psychopharmacologist who also works at OHSU and three psychologists. Let me describe the bill's main provisions. It authorizes specially trained psychologists to prescribe a limited formulary of mental health medications but it suspends that authority until July 1st, 2011. Why? Because in Senate Bill 1046, we have established a task force, and it's under the Oregon Medical Board to develop further recommendations for the education and clinical training of prescribing psychologists. And that includes standards for prescribing mental health drugs for special populations. So this says nothing about whether they will be prescribing for geriatrics, it says nothing that they will be prescribing for children. This will all be done 
uh, with the task force. And this task force is required to report its recommendations to the legislature by March 1, 2011. Patient safety is paramount when giving medical care to patients. And there are a number of significant provisions that ensure that patient safety is in this legislation. And number one, the authority to issue, to oversee, and revoke a certificate of prescriptive authority lies with the Oregon Medical Board, not the Psychological Board, the Oregon Medical Board. There will be a committee under the Oregon Medical Board uh, will review applications, they will make recommendations on the prescribing psychologist formulary and its annual revision and handle complaints to the board. But the power is with the Oregon Medical Board. The second uh, safety provision that we have is that the Oregon Medical Board is going to adopt rules prescribing, um, requiring prescribing psychologists to maintain an ongoing collaboration with a patient's health care professional. This is far more stringent than the state of Louisiana who also has prescribing, a licensed prescribing psychologist. This collaboration means, and we have stated, that it has to be with a primary care provider and it has to be documented documented in the medical record. This patient has to be seen a health care professional who is taking care of the physical health. This, another safety, it, it also has to, this patient also has to have necessary medical examinations. They have to be conducted by the primary care provider. It has to be documented that the prescribed drug is appropriate for the patient's medical condition. This requires collaboration with the primary care provider. We are integrating physical and mental health care. And any significant changes in a patient's medical or psychological condition are also discussed. We need to act now because we need more mental health specialists on deck. Let's not keep stalling and putting this off. This problem is not going to go away. Prescribing psychologists can still fill some of the gaps because we right now don't have enough psychiatrists. And prescribing psychologists can really improve access to quality care, especially in underserved rural areas and in federally qualified health centers. I have a group of primary care physicians in Hood River that wrote and said, it, is re it would be of much value to her and her uh, fellow practicing physicians to have someone who is actually up to date on the recent mental health drugs and who is actually has a certificate in behavioral health. So there are primary physicians out there that would just welcome having someone with a much better knowledge of mental health dis disorders and therapy. Prescribing psychologists can help Oregon respond to the health, mental health needs of our returning veterans and their families, and pre prescribing psychologists in collaboration with primary care providers can make a very strong contribution to integrating physical and mental health. Thank you, Mr. President. Further discussion?